Hey guys, what's up? Ling Ling is back with another video. Today we are going to talk about da 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 relationships in Chinese. Yes, this is video number five in my series of Chinese language videos where I try to find my favorite terms to discuss and then I link them to a Chinese con contemporary Chinese society problems something you can discuss with your chinese friends and yeah let's get started today we're going to talk about love ah, 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 ah. okay um in this video i've chosen two different <coughs> terms um the first one is yi di lian yi di lian which basically means long distance relationship and why do i think this is important well these days um, many foreigners they come to china uh, just for a year just to study chinese they find a language partner and then they fall in love Woo! yeah but usually they have to go home again a lot of foreigners who are here they always have like a china expire date if that makes sense um so yeah they're going home at some point and then they need to talk to their new love about the f the fact that um they're going or and they have to discuss if they want to do a long distance relationship or not so it's a good thing to know this word you can talk to your chinese friends about this like hey my friend if you were going abroad would you do a long distance relationship with your boyfriend or girlfriend or would it even would you like it or do you think you'll be like nah -uh, because according to me it's no go i wouldn't do it but anyways um, ED, Lian, ED is um, a place far away from home and Lian is love. So there you go, ED, Lian, long distance relationship. Du, du, du. The second term we're going to talk about today is really interesting as well. The second term is Luo Hun. Luo Hun. So basically, Luo, <coughs> sorry. Luo is um, naked. Luo qi is naked. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> hun is the other half part of jie hun. So luo qi jie hun. Um, shortened is luo hun, which means naked marriage. Naked marriage. And you're probably wondering, hmm, are they like walking around naked? Are they having like naked Friday, naked weekend? They probably have that as well, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> today we're going to talk about the fact that the naked the marriage is discussed very much because in China the pressure, the financial pressure is um, is real. It's a struggle. Um, I have my friend here. Actually, I'm in Tianjin right now, so that's why I'm in this hotel, by the way. Um, I have a friend here who is like, oh yeah, I need to earn this much money, I need to buy a car, I need to uh, be this financial, financially stable, I need to do this and that and this and that, all according to uh, his um, inner life plan or whatever, um, before he can find a girlfriend and get married. And uh, yeah, I'm like, whoa, <laughs> that's a lot of things to do. So basically, I'm just talking that up, that's not important. Um, Basically, the na naked marriage is that you marry a guy who doesn't have an apartment or a car or like, you know, a safe job before you get married. Ah! That would probably happen for me anyways, unless I wait for a really long time. But like in Denmark, it's not a thing. We don't really talk about that. But here it's just, it's very real. Um, and this naked marriage um, is also linked to another thing here in Chinese society. It's... um. A girl on a dating show, she once said, Oh, I would rather cry in a BMW uh, than laugh or smile on the back of a bike. And people like, Whoa, gold digger. And other people like, Well, yeah, she's, she's right. Like, it is very important to be financially stable. And of course, it has to be the boy because why would the girl have to earn any money, right? She has to give birth to one child. <laughs> yeah guys I'm sorry <clears throat> I'm being a little sarcastic because on this one I feel like you should work together so uh, 
The boy might have an apartment, but why not share and buy one together? Why not buy a car together? Or why do you even need a car in like, let's say, Beijing? Um, you have the subway and if you're driving anywhere, you're gonna get stuck anyway. You're not gonna be able to drive at all anyways. Anyways, there we go. That's my point, opinion. Sorry. The two terms for today. The first one, yi di lian, long distance relationship linked to Foreigners coming here, dating Chinese people, going home again, what to do. And the second one is Luo Hun, the naked marriage. Are you willing to marry just for love? Or are you one of the more realistic people who are like, mm, I should probably look out for a guy with um, a car <laughs> and uh, an apartment. So there we go. That's the two terms for today's video. I'm trying to keep this short, guys. I hope you like this little video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling and also like me on social media because I'm actually pretty active there. Instagram and Facebook. Just look for Lena around. You're gonna find my beautiful face. Okay, over the top. Stop it. I hope you like this little video. I hope you're having a great day, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling is out. See ya and Zai Jian. Bye bye.